lost love nearly 10 years ago several things happened to me i lived in a city but the city was hot in the summer i yearned to experience the countryside to walk through woods and witness the beauty of green trees equipped with a little red car and a map i embarked on a night drive into the country my car became my heaven and we enjoyed a splendid summer the early mornings in the countryside were enchanting with the sun casting its warmth the sky painted in blue hues and the melodic sounds of birds in the trees however this idyllic journey took an unexpected turn when my car suddenly stopped panic set in as i realized i had run out of petrol now faced with the prospect of walking i consulted my map to find a nearby town where i could purchase fuel lost in the vastness of the countryside my eyes fell upon a girl walking down the road holding flowers in her hand she wore a long flowing dress and her hair long and black shimmered in the sunlight intrigued i approached her hello i greeted her i am lost where am i her initial fear subsided as i spoke quietly explaining my predicament with blue eyes that looked at me kindly she offered assistance suggesting we go to the village for help i willingly followed her and together we walked a considerable distance contrary to my expectations there was indeed a village a quaint old and charming settlement the houses small and adorned in black and white coexisted with a variety of animals the girl guided me to her house which though strange was immaculately clean a wood fire crackled and food hung above it i felt a pang of hunger pondering the simplicity of their lifestyle meeting the girl's parents i found them to be amiable although their attire was peculiar as we sat down the old man offered me a drink grateful i accepted only to find the dark brown liquid both strange and potent perplexed but content i inquired about petrol yet the concept seemed foreign to the old man the day unfolded pleasantly and i spent the evening sharing a meal with the family exiting to the garden with mary as the girl was named we enjoyed the peacefulness of the surroundings however a shadow crept over mary and her cheerful demeanor shifted to sadness asking her about her melancholy mary hesitated revealing that i being a mere visitor had to bid farewell that night due to the dangers of the place determined to help i promised to retrieve petrol from the next town and return our parting was filled with sorrow as i expressed my love for mary vowing to come back the midnight journey commenced with the night embracing darkness exhausted i reached the lights of a town secured petrol and inquired about the village's name yet the garage attendant responded with a bewildered expression hinting at strange stories surrounding its disappearance eager for answers i learned of a tragic event 350 years prior involving a fire and the demise of the village unsettled by the man's account i struggled to comprehend the incongruities in time and reality the peculiar clothes the horse usage and the absence of cars left me bewildered driven by curiosity i returned to the vanished village but found only flowers trees and the echoes of birds and wind overwhelmed with sadness i sat on the ground and wept cherishing the memory of mary despite the heartache a glimmer of hope arose the village would return in two months anticipating the right day i resolved to go back find mary with the long black hair and this time stay with her without departing before morning i'll return to you you won't prevent me i declared she bid me farewell at the door her face filled with sorrow 
mirroring my own melancholy. Midnight had arrived, casting a dark night, yet I trudged on, weary but determined. Town lights emerged in the distance. And after obtaining petrol, I sought the name of the vanished village. The garage attendant, puzzled by my inquiry about the village, listened as I described its old houses and inhabitants in peculiar attire. His perplexed expression deepened, and he hesitated before revealing, there was a village, but it exists no more. There are tales, strange tales. Reluctantly, he disclosed the tragic history of a fire and the villagers' demise attributed to Oliver Cromwell's wrath for their support in the war. Overwhelmed, I struggled to accept the incongruity of a war 350 years past. Memories flooded back the odd clothing, long hair, unconventional food and ancient houses. The mention of horses added to my confusion. Tearfully, I recounted meeting the people and conversing with them. The man, recognizing my confusion, shared an intriguing revelation, the village resurfaces for a single day every ten years, only to vanish again. To find it on that day is possible, but departure before morning is imperative, or one risks never leaving. Doubt lingered, but Maria's urging resonated, you must depart. Despite her love, she insisted on bidding farewell, fearing for my safety. Understanding dawned, and I returned to the site of the village, but it eluded me. Desperate searches yielded only flowers, trees, bird songs, and the whispering wind. Overcome with sorrow, I sat on the ground, tears flowing freely. That day etched into my memory, forever bound to thoughts of Mary, the woman I would always cherish. Now, with two months as my only wait, the village would reappear. On the appointed day, I would return, seeking her, the love with the long, black hair. This time, my commitment echoed loudly, I would not depart before morning, opting to stay with her.